far out. These guys drive like absolute maniacs. I swear, you cannot ride or drive for a day in a Saudi city without seeing an absolutely smashed up car like that. It's terrifying. Having spent a day in a car yesterday, I'm terrified of Saudi roads now, even more than I have been the last two months. Cheeky tailwind. So I've had an incredible stay with Tagreed. Uh, yesterday um, we took a drive down to Neom and <laughs> Tagreed is incredibly uh, generous, warm, friendly person, but she gets furious at the other Saudi drivers for driving exactly as manically as she is driving. So I'm very glad I live to tell the tale. Um, very sad to leave, but I'm also excited to go to Jordan in just a couple of days. nice little place to sit and have an ice cream in the middle of my ride. Um, it's my last but one day in Saudi. Um, incredible. And so at this point, because I know I'm going to be posting this after I've left the country, I can say all the things that I couldn't say uh, because you do have to be careful um, about um, not saying anything negative about, not that I think I would, um, about Islam or the royal family. It's an absolute monarchy um, and I've been curious to hear um, what people think about um, the rapid development um, courtesy of Mohammed bin Salman, aka MBS in the West. And unlike in Iran, where just about everybody I met hated their government, um, in Saudi, I didn't meet a single person that would say anything more inflammatory than, I don't like paying VAT. That was the most subversive thing um, anybody was willing to say on the record to me. So it seems that Saudi people uh, really love their government and are absolutely amongst um, Saudis and Iranians are just top tier, incomparable, amazing hospitality. So I will be sad to leave the Saudi people behind. Um, but yeah, my, my experience of Saudi Arabia at the hands of the Ministry of the Interior or whatever on earth was going on with, uh, with the surveillance, it really did leave a nasty stain on my experience of Saudi Arabia. But the Saudi people, without question, are up there with Iranians in terms of exceptional, astounding, incredible hospitality and welcome. And that is what I will remember Saudi Arabia for. I'm at 100 kilometers already um, and I'm pretty beat, but because I spent extra time in Tabuk, I'm trying to fit some extra kilometers into my day today.
I need some sugar. I've still, I've still got some daylight hours, but um, I'm tired. So um, I've been given this sort of mince pie type of fare. It's just got the brown sugary sauce in a pastry. A nice discovery on my last or so day in Saudi Arabia. First camels I've seen all day. I've stumbled across my last little Saudi mosque sleep because I am determined to camp on the Red Sea tomorrow. Uh, this place is marked on the map as having a water spring and here it is. These guys are just making use of it to do a bit of laundry and then I'm going to get involved. But it's beautiful here. If I could heath my bike into the mountains it would be a lovely spot there but this is far enough from the road. Don't need to push my bike through any sand unnecessarily. Thanks. The map denotes a spring here and also some kind of creek or channel which I assume must be underground and that's what's feeding this thing. Okay, I see. <laughs> There is no women's section. That doesn't make this the men's section, it just makes this a mixed mosque. Yay, I have a relatively fancy dinner in that it's not in a can. I have fresh olives and makdouche, which is a Syrian dish and always reminds me of my friend Yekka. Makdouche is eggplant stuffed with chili and walnuts, and this one is a particularly spicy one. <laughs> 